So target sign is seen in all the conditions mentioned here. Let us see why do we see the target sign. So a target sign is basically an inner circle and an outer circle. So it can also be called a donut sign. What happens in pyloric stenosis is now this is an ultrasound image where this is the stomach and this is the liver. This part of the stomach is the pylorus. We see that the pylorus is elongated and thickened. Now if we take a transverse section here, we will see this inner circle that is the lumen of the pylorus and this outer circle that is the thickened muscle layer. That is why we have an inner and outer circle so we get a target sign in pyloric stenosis. Next we get a target sign in intersusception. Now this is a CT abdomen image, a contrast CT where these vessels are white and these bones are white so it's a CT. In intersusception basically one bowel goes inside another bowel. The outer bowel is called the intersuscipients because it is the recipient of the inner bowel and the inner one which goes inside is the intersusceptor. So here we see that the inner circle is formed by the intersusceptor and the outer circle is formed by the intersuscipients. That is why this target or donut sign in intersusception. Next we see that target sign is seen in inflammatory bowel disease or any bowel inflammation like pseudomembranous colitis or ischemic bowel disease, Crohn's ulcerative colitis. So here we have again a target that is inner circle and an outer circle. So this inner circle is the mucosa, the outer circle is the muscularis or the serosa and this black part in the middle is the edematous submucosa in bowel inflammation. So target sign is seen in all. Also remember that it is seen in appendicitis also for the same reason that in appendicitis there is wall thickening just like bowel inflammation or pyloric stenosis. So it is also seen in appendicitis.